Hey, my name is Adam Baker. I'm a PDGA member in the Amateur Advanced Division. I'm also the secretary of the local Greenville Club, Greenville Disc Golf, uh, GVDG for short. Um, and we're here today to teach you how to play some disc golf. So let's get to it. Game of disc golf, play with discs. Uh, you basically have three different types a putter, a mid range, and a driver. Putters have a rounder edge. They're designed to have more, pretty much more surface area when it hits the chain, so it'll hit the chain and come down, as opposed to a driver, which has a cut edge, which if that hits the chains and cuts in, it can cut all the way through, which you don't want. But you do want it when you're throwing long distances to cut through the air. That's the main difference between the two. See there. Um, and then in between that, you have the mid-range, which is kind of a combination of the two. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's got wider here, but it's also kind of cut there. So it gets a little longer, but then it kind of floats off at the end, so it doesn't quite go as far as a driver. And that's basically it for the three different types. Um, there's, of course, multiple variations of each for different styles of play. Different people like different things is the bottom line. Um, well, the deal with the weights is there are rules and regulations. To, you know, the PDGA sets forth rules which determines the diameter, the weight, the height, the width of the lip here. Uh, just pretty much every dimension you can think of of a disc, including the weight. The weight is determined, it can be... It's a ratio determined by the diameter of the disc. The larger the disc, the heavier it can be legally. Uh, most discs in PDGA that you'll be playing with, the most will be 175 grams. Um, and then the lightest will be, it can be as light as it can. The difference between a heavy disc and a light disc uh, is a heavy disc is going to be more stable. It'll tend to fly the natural path better than a light disc, which if you've ever thrown on the beach with the regular old Frisbee, and it, you know, you throw it and it goes way off to the right, that's what it is. It's very light and understable. We'll get to that later. And it just goes off to the right, it'll turn over every time. Yeah, there's different types of plastic as well, which are also approved by the PDGA. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, but it does say PDGA approved on PDGA approved discs. I do believe it's on the back too and molded in the print, but you can't really see that on this disc. But this is DX plastic. You probably can't tell too much on the camera, but it's more of a, you know, a rougher plastic. You can kind of see the dirt in it. It sticks into it. It's a softer plastic that'll, once you hit a tree or two, it gets dings in it. It gets bent up really easily. It's the lower end, the cheaper plastic, but it's good to start off with. It's also good to have, which is also better grip when it's wet, which the other end of the spectrum, this happens to be star plastic, which is a newer plastic. Um, it's slicker. It cuts through the air better. It, it has a better feel uh, to most people. Of course, you know, you have your own opinion, but it tends to cut through the air a lot better. It's, it's, very, it's a lot smoother. It's a lot stronger. When you hit, you can hit probably 20,000 trees with this disc and not be beat up as much as this one hitting a tree five times. It's just a different type of plastic, so a lot stronger. Um, there's also Champion plastic. There's Pro plastic. Um, this is the DX, like I said. There's now a new R plastic. It's, it's a lot stronger, but it's also really floppy, similar to this one but it, this one beats up a little more than the new R plastic. Um, you can learn about all that on the web, just Google, you know, disc golf, different plastics. The uh, PDGA website will tell you. So you can basically buy a disc anywhere. Um, of course, online. Lots of people buy stuff online, you know, eBay, websites, whatever. You Google it, you can find it. Here in town in Greenville, uh, we basically have Play It Again Sports out by the new theater on Greenville Boulevard. Um, you also have IFO, Incredible Flying Objects, which is in the same parking lot as B-Dubs, right across the little parking lot. You can't miss it if you're at B-Dubs, it's right there. Um, the best place to get them is probably going to Doubles out here at Meadowbrook 
on Mondays and Thursdays. It's three dollars to play. Um, if you're not that good, you still have a good chance because we team up amateurs with advanced players. You sign up separately, so you can get teamed up with the best guy out here, and you're still going to walk home with, you know, at least seven dollars, you know, seven dollar disc for three dollars. Um, there's also a lot of guys that come out to doubles that have a lot of extra disc from winning them that could sell them or trade them.